Baseball is their sport here at Embry-Riddle, but for four young teammates, golf is how they relax. And two weeks ago, while on a local course, they had to swing into action. I looked over and that's when I saw what looked to be a lawnmower, just blades and a tire sticking out the water. Cody Forster, Josh Reynolds, Michael Lawson and John Devine were on the sixth hole when they heard a splash and realized a large commercial lawnmower like this one was upside down in the water. Likely someone underneath the four sprinted over. Then I felt his arm like he came up and grabbed me like he finally knew someone was there and that's kind of when I knew like this is serious. We got to get it up or he's going to die. Josh Reynolds and Cody Forster jumped in. Reynolds, the baseball team's big man at 6'4", 250 pounds, at first couldn't budge the 1,000 pound mower, but then... Second try, just the grace of God, I got it up onto my shoulder, stood it up so he could get his face out. Michael Lawson and John Devine added muscle to the rescue. I was able to help lift it up to where uh, he was at. Uh, he could get out from underneath uh, the lawnmower. We all kind of just sat in the water for uh, two minutes and looked at each other and, and, he, he and disbelief. These are pictures of the victim Paul Pilato and his wife with their rescuers when they met under better circumstances. Pilato's wife was nearby during the incident doing other landscaping work and told us by phone the baseball player saved her family. They have four children. And he said he was five seconds away from probably passing out. He had no idea anyone was coming and he mentally said his goodbyes to his family and his kids. I mean, yeah, it was definitely super cool how everything came together. Yeah. Um, couldn't have been more perfect, so. Clearly, everyone here at Embry-Riddle is proud of these four young men, students, athletes, and heroes. In Daytona Beach, Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News.